And speaking of strategic battles, there's another one that's heating up, Taiwan. The self-ruled island that China is obsessed about. Taiwan wants independence, China wants full control, and that's the core of the conflict. And it's back in focus because Taiwan is voting this week. They have a presidential election in four days from now. The result would determine their future and their relationship with China. So China is interfering in this election, and brazenly so. Today, there was panic in Taiwan. Mobile phones started buzzing across the island. Everyone received a warning, and this is what the warning said. Air raid alert. Missile fly over Taiwan airspace. Be aware. And, and when it happened, Taiwan's foreign minister was speaking to the press. He was forced to stop. Take a look at this. Thank you. Um, the gentleman in the the PRC has fired a satellite uh, in this region. It wasn't a missile, thankfully. China had launched a military satellite earlier today, and that satellite set off the warning systems in Taiwan. For the first time ever, Taiwan's government issued a nationwide alert today. The satellite was launched from Sichuan in China. It flew over the island of Taiwan, and Taipei has good reasons to be concerned. They did not know about the launch. As far as they were concerned, it could have been an attack. Uh, carried by a rocket flew over Taiwan and debris might fall and therefore there was a national alert being issued. That's Joseph Wu, the foreign minister. He believes today's events fit a pattern. China is bullying Taiwan ahead of the election and this launch was supposed to give them a foretaste of what could follow to remind them of the looming threat of war, a war between China and Taiwan because Xi Jinping has not ruled out the use of force. He's been carrying out what is called psyops, pulling off stunts that are meant to scare. Last week, they used balloons. Taiwan spotted many of them, and it believes that China sent the balloons to harass them. It is a gray zone harassment tactic, and we have reported the incidents to the aviation authority. This is China's attempt to use cognitive warfare to affect the morale of our people. So China's goals are quite clear. It wants to influence the presidential election to install a pro-Beijing leader as Taiwan's president. And to do this, China is deploying all kinds of tactics. It is resorting to economic coercion. Last month, Taiwanese exporters were punished. China ended tariff concessions on chemical imports. Basically, they're targeting Taiwan's business elite. They depend on the Chinese mainland for orders, and now they face curbs and restrictions. It's a classic pressure tactic to pull votes. Then there are claims of espionage. Taiwan has been cracking down on Chinese spies. In 2023, at least 16 people faced these charges. They were accused of living in Taiwan and spying for China. Beijing also runs a massive misinformation campaign designed to influence voters. China is said to be planting fake stories and pushing conspiracy theories, and one of them was about the US. It said Taiwan and the U.S. are building bio labs to target Chinese people. Fake news. Negative news from Taiwan has been amplified, like news about egg shortages or political scandals or Taiwan's readiness for war. China has been pushing them on the Internet. The idea is to polarize voters, to make them think that there is a crisis, to hype up perceived threats, and to make the pro-democracy leaders look bad, because it's said to be happening under their watch. Taipei has warned its people about this election misinformation. They've been asked to watch out for claims like surveillance inside polling booths and hidden ballot boxes. They're on their guard. Voting takes place on the 13th of January, this Saturday. Taiwan fears that China will try to disrupt it. It is weaponizing trade, deploying spies and spreading fake news, all of it to stop this man, Lai ching -te the vice president of Taiwan and the current front runner. 
China has intervened in every major Taiwanese election, but this time it is the most severe. In addition to military threats and intimidation, economic measures, cognitive warfare, and false information, and the use of threats and inducements, it can be said that they are leaving no stone unturned. Of course, China denies all of this, but the world can see the balloons and the rockets. And so can the people of Taiwan. As they vote for their next president, they're also sending a message to Beijing.